Well, hello there, folks. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome back to Southeast Louisiana, where today we're going to vaporize some mites. Well, actually, we're not going to vaporize mites. We're going to vaporize oxalic acid, which is then going to spread through the colony, coat everything, and hopefully kill phoretic mites. Obviously, it's not going to kill our mites that are in the brood. And that's right, it is December and we have brood. It's actually December 10th, and it's probably 75 degrees out right now. Probably got up about 78 today. It is quite warm in December, December 10th, and we're warm. It's not the most ideal time. What I wanted was a good cold snap. And down here, we get up into the mid 50s and mid 60s for our highs when we're on cold weeks and cold days and we drop into the freezing temps at night. And that's ideal because that slows my queen down, pretty much shuts her down for a week or two or maybe three or four even if we have a cold winter and it allows them to bust the, bust is not really proper English, break the cluster. And when they break the cluster, I can vaporize them at that point. You know, in the afternoon when it's 50 to 60, yeah, they're flying, but still. But we don't have that. We've had bees flying. It is getting evening. They are mostly coming home, but they're still flying pretty good. So we're going to get after it and at least do a blast now and a blast next week. Uh, and we'll go from there. But I want to show you a few new things that I have. And there's some things you may not have seen with these particular brands of vaporizers that I have. So I want to show you what I have and what I'm going to do this year with my vaporizer and how I'm going to conduct the doses. So we're only going to do the ones here and hit the house. And I got a few new things I want to try. So let's go take a look. As you walk over here, I just want you to remember, as always, not a how-to video, folks. And I'm not here trying to tell you how to vaporize oxalic acid. I'm here showing you how Mike vaporizes oxalic acid. It's a how I do video, as you well know. Uh, Brian at Castle Hives gets a lot of mileage out of that. But uh, I guess it's my little brand now. So anyway, uh, we're going to go over here and I'm going to show you how I do it. It is a vlog, folks. It's just me showing you. Let's go over here and uh, look through some stuff. Here we go, folks. Here's my kit. This is all my stuff, okay? Uh, what I use is Oxivap's ProVap 110. It's a nice little unit. It needs to be cleaned out before I start. Um, I've had it for several years now. I used to have a wand. I got the wand. I started oxalic acid way before it was ever approved. I'm not going to necessarily say who I got the wand from. Let's just say I got a wand years before it was probably my third year of beekeeping and I got it and I uh, it was a machined little wand that a person made and sold for quite a lot of money and I'd already researched what Europe was doing with oxalic acid and so I went for it but then I got this and I really have liked this and it's worked well for me what I'll say about it is I see a lot of people um, with Larabi's similar unit uh, the one with the tube in the bottom on the tube in the top I've seen Larabi's is selling the uh, what is that the Instavap now uh, all nice units, uh, big supporter of Larabi's, uh, but I had this first and it's still working. So as long as it's working, I just can't invest in a new one like the Instavap looks fabulous. I'd love to have it, but uh, it's just not something that I'm ready to invest in when I've got one that works for 40 hives. So I'm going to stick with what I got now, but I got some neat stuff. Last year at the Hive Life Conference, I got the doser for this thing and I'll show it to you. And you'll see, you've seen something similar on other videos if you're watching other people with the Instavap. So here is the doser, just like the one with the Instavap, except this one is not easily changed on the go. So I've got it set to just shy of four grams, the most it'll hold. I've been doubling my doses for three years, well, this is the third year, for two years before this. And this is what it does use this lid on your ProVap, and it's the same thing. You shove it in a the jar, then you put this in there boom and let it set and it's done now you're not switching caps problem with this and he, he was making this um uh you know a couple years, i guess about a year and a half ago maybe he was making is what he told me i don't know it, it was still kind of new at the show but as far as i could tell but it um he, he needed to use his jam nuts to adjust so you really can't adjust it on the go you could take it apart here unscrew it and do it but I got it set for four grams so that means that's gonna do my double deeps but what about my singles and my nukes 
On the singles and nukes, I can just set the regular lids up, pop the doser lid off, and go with these. Yeah, it's going to sh slow me down just a little bit, but not a big deal. Um, so that's what I could use for my nukes and singles. But I have something different that I'm actually going to try this year. I have this. This right here, folks, is from Shake and Bake. Uh, is his name on YouTube. He sent it to me last year, but he sent it to me after I'd already treated. Now, these are one gram tablets. Let's open it up. So I've opened it up. I'm going to look at it. And they're one gram tablets. And it says it's from um, Mike's Bees LLC. Peel box. It's up in, I don't have my glasses, New Concord, Ohio. But these are one gram tablets. So what I'm going to do, instead of on my nukes and singles going to the old lids, I will put this lid, leave it on there, pull my doser out. I'll drop a tablet in and put my doser back in to cover the lid. How about that? So let's try these. This is the first time I'm using these. These things look like an excellent idea. These would be ideal. Well, I think they're going to be ideal for what I'm doing. But I would think also they're super ideal for one of the wand types of uh, acid vaporizers. Man, that I mean, simple idea, great idea. So I'm going to give these a shot and see how they do. I have yet one other thing to show you. So I have this inverter. I'm not going to use it here at the house regularly. This is for when I go to town. This is a Potec 750 watt. Russell Koopman, longtime viewer and viewer of many of you guys' channels that may watch in my channel and several channels. Great guy. Met him at the conference last year, but he suggested this inverter. I guess any 750 watt would have done, but he suggested this one. He said it worked, so... Hey, I'm going to go with something that we know works. I am going to try it in my yard on my tractor battery, but what I'm going to use this for is in town, when I go in town, I don't have to take this generator off the trailer and throw it in the truck. So no moving the generator more than I have to. Take this with me in the truck, go do my 8 to 10 hives that I have out in the other yard. And I think this will work good. So that's a few new toys, a few new items, and we're going to get busy because this time of year, the sun goes down really quick, it seems like. I guess it really doesn't go down any faster, does it? It just goes down sooner. Yeah. All right, let's get busy. So I did suit up. Normally, it's cooler. I don't have to be too concerned with bees being angry. Uh, but I did suit up because I'll be working from the front of the hive today. I drilled holes in all my bottom boards and used the vaporizer from behind. But I normally vaporize. Again, that was my old regime was to always vaporize in the summer for four weeks straight at every five to seven days. So I went in from the back and there weren't entrance reducers in. Now I've got entrance reducers down. Most of them are the smallest holes. So I'll go in from the front, just make it easier where I don't have to pull the golf tees out and redraw holes or they break sometimes because they're propolized in there so hard. Um, so it's just gonna be easier to go through the front except for this plastic one. I don't wanna mess up my um, gate on the front of this plastic board. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do this one. but. Uh, I don't know, I could probably go through the front without melting it, but we'll see. But anyway, other than that, that's why I'm suiting up. I don't want to be in front of the colonies. They're flying. They're very active right now. They're defens defensive against robbing at this time of year, so I just want to be careful and have my gear on. One thing I will say is glove-wise, though, when I'm changing caps, I use a leather glove. Um, I don't wear my beekeeping gloves, the goatskin ones, because if you get to sweating, and, it, and when that oxalic acid gets on that goat skin, it tends to eat through it really quick. And in about a two week to a month time frame, you'll notice you start getting tears and rips and holes in your glove. That's because the oxalic acid ate them up. Um, that is a tip, by the way. I don't usually give tips, but that's one I'm going to give because that's happened to me. Let me clarify the glove thing too. I, I wear it because the caps are so hot. Um, you need a glove because the caps get hot. Usually at this time of year, you don't even need anything on, but uh, I, I do wear these regardless because I don't want to burn my hand and they withstand the uh, acid pretty good. Uh, Alright guys, this is the first time trying it. I don't know how it's going to work with this plastic hive or the plastic bottom. Plus the bottom doesn't seal well, so let's see what it'll do. Basically, I don't want to melt it, but I don't know. I don't know how hot it can get. So we just do it like this. I got my dose. And it goes. Now it's got vents. I don't have it all the way blocked off. I probably should put a rag there, but 
Yeah, we'll see. Stuff is coming up through the hive right there. Yeah, see, it's coming up through the top. When I pull the when I pull the cover, it's coming up through the top. That's good. So I'm losing some, but I'm getting some in. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't want to melt this plastic. I think it might have melted a little bit. I look for my temp to go back up. It's climbing back up now. Once I get up about 210, I, let, I pull it out. Yeah, it's boiling out of the bottom. But it's the nature of this board. So I'm done. No, I'm not. It's just the nature of this board. So I'm just going to leave it. It's up to 215, just about. That's it. It's 220. Pretty easy, but I'll see how it really works when I'm going hide to hide to hide. Now I did tell you, I hope you can hear me, but I did tell you that I was going to do my singles with the pill and I didn't. I got so excited about my new toy I just jumped on it. It's also getting late. But on the nuke, not the triple nuke, but the nukes, the two nukes, I'm going to do those tablets and we're going to try those. I think those are a great idea, Shake and Bake. Hope you're watching. It's really fast and easy. I like that. I still got vapor coming out of these crevices on this one. Of course, I got holes all in my colony hives, but uh, they're getting a good dose. But this is easy. Man, hive by hive by hive. I'm done. Four hives. That took me, oh, five minutes maybe. Awesome. Awesome. We're done. 2.30. We're done. Good deal. All right, guys. I'm going to do one of the nukes now with the little tablets. The bees in one colony are looking weird. Everybody's alive and flying. But that one over there, right over there, the, the double D, it's got a bunch of bees on the front, like they're down in the bottom corner. Sometimes that can be small hive beetles that have taken over the rest of the hive. So I pop the top. No crazy smells. It's very heavy. Of course, I couldn't smell with this on, but I pulled it too and I didn't smell anything. They did look very empty at the top, so I don't know, but they're mad. So I'm going to have to put a second glove on them and get my wrists and my hands tore up pretty bad. But I'm going to show you the nuke. Let's try this tablet out and see what it does. Drop the tablet in. Cover it up. Let's see if it goes down any. Now we gotta watch the tip. I imagine these tablets might take a little bit to get going. There it goes. There it goes. Perfect, man. That works great. Oh yeah. There we go. Tablet works wonderful. I like it. That's perfect for my new one gram. That's double a dose, so 
Yeah, these bees right here, they're getting ornery and they're gathered up like that. That's the only colony gathered. They're not that big to be on the board like that. That makes me think there's something wrong. So while we got warm weather, if we don't have too much rain tomorrow, I'm probably going to pop them open and I'm going to inspect that one. I really don't do anything with hives, but if I got weather and I see a problem child, I am going to have to do something. We're going to look at this. It was weak going into winter. It was a bona fide weak one. It's number 13 and it had a swarm and then it, it recovered slowly, so we're going to check it. This is back up to speed. I like it. One gram down in a tablet. I like the tablet shake and bake. I like it. So let me move on. I want to try the inverter in a minute on the tractor battery, just see how that goes. Uh, just to show y'all and to satisfy me before I go across town with it. But I'm gonna finish up some highs. I got about uh, eight to do next door, and I got these last four. So I got about 30 highs here, and I've done this in less than an hour. I mean, the video has cost me a little bit, but. This is a 45 minute job with this thing. I like that doser, it's nice. All right guys, I'm over next door. Sunset just now, it's starting to get dark. Plus we've got clouds moving in, so I wanna finish up. But I got the Potex 750 watt inverter hooked up. Let's take a look. I'm gonna leave my little old tractor running because that's not the newest battery. And I just wanna make sure I don't kill it. But let's take a look uh, and see what it's doing. And I'm gonna try that. And that's what I'll use out of town uh, when I'm not know in town when I'm not here at the house let's look all right we, we got our temperature that's good and it's pulling anywhere from 270 to 300 watts that's good so let's see how long it takes to catch up once we vaporize so we'll get our doser out we got a pill a tablet for the nuke and the rest of course we'll do with the, do the uh, doser and we'll see how quick it thing does see if it keeps up i don't see why it wouldn't it's not yanking too many watts That means it's getting uh, blown through the hive really good. We want it to cover everything. All right, we're going right, going right back up. It's recovering actually a little bit better than the generator, I think. That's a 1300 watt, or I think it's an 1100 watt generator. I don't know, I can look. Yeah, these bees are getting ornery over here too. Can you blame them though? I mean, really, can you blame the bee? I can't blame the bee. All right. We'll go in here, take this out, here's our tablet, we'll drop it in the hole, and we'll put this on here, we're going to give these mites a little acidic fragrance, but anyway, this tablet takes a second or two to finally get dissolving, but once it does, it goes well. 
We're still at 230. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Let's see what it's doing. There it goes. There it goes. It takes a few seconds, but I mean, shoot. If you got a wand, man, that thing would be perfect. You'd have to time it on your 12 volt battery. But actually, it's working great in here, too. I like those tablets. Those are neat. Woo, yeah, it's going now. Let's look up, let's look up here. Oh yeah. Vapor through the colony. That's what we want. All right, folks, there you go. All done. Sun went down and I got cloud cover. Had to hurry up, but man, that doser was nice. Like I said at the very beginning of the video, it'd be great to have one of those Instavaps, but you know that doser makes a world of difference. Uh, I got investments in the in the uh, ProVap already. I, mean, I got a new bowl. Should my tube break? I got I got the lids. I got the doser now. I had bought that at Hive Life. That came out, um, I guess, about a year and a half ago at least. He had it at Hive Life, and it was still. It was still pretty new, but it had been out. Um, uh, and again, I'm not a I'm not a Oxivap sponsor, or whatever affiliate or none of that. Matter of fact, it's not my favorite uh, uh, owner, company, what have you. Um, but I have what I had, and so I, mean, I couldn't really justify going and spending 300 more dollars, and then for the Instavap, whatever, just can't justify it now. So it's working until it breaks. I'm gonna keep using it. Um, Again, the uh, pellets or the, the tablets, great. Those things work great. Um, not an affiliate or sponsor for them. And they are oxalic acid tablets, Easy Ox, it's called. Use these tablets only in vaporizers designed to treat for roll mites. Mike's Bees LLC, New Concord, Ohio. Shake and Bake on YouTube gave them to me. I'm not sure if that's Mike or not. So that's the stuff. I use it. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what's right and wrong in your colonies. Again, not a how to video. Only how I do video, what I'm using, what I, how I'm doing it, it's just me doing it. Um, where you get your oxalic acid matters. That's just a fact. I am never going to sit here and tell anybody to use anything that's not approved in your colony. So there you go. There's my disclaimer. But anyway, great, great treatment day. It was quick. You know, making videos, setting up the shots, do that kind of thing slowed me down. I think if I didn't have the video camera out there on my own, uh, from setup to park in this trailer an hour for 30 colonies and that's set up and everything um maybe even less as it goes uh started getting stung up up there on my wrist dropped my phone trying to shoot a quick video with my phone for somebody to show them the doser but hey and look the uh inverter worked great didn't get over 300 watt usage it it charged i think almost faster than the darn um it, it recouped the vaporizer faster than the generator i believe it's like an 1100 watt generator um it's old but but both of them work great, so that's going to work good in town. I'm going to take that probably uh, tomorrow afternoon, go do the eight hives in town. And uh, I'm liking it. Of course, I had no reason to doubt Russell. Um, I just grabbed the same one he said he used because he said it worked, and I trust him. And you guys that have met him last year at High Life or hear his comments, you know he's a trustworthy guy, um, great guy. So he gave me that two years ago. I finally bought it this year, and I like it. Everything went well. Happy that the bees are treated. Wish it was colder to knock the brood back because I promise you we got brood, but that's okay. Hey, got to check on one problem, Connie. Everybody else seems fine. Everybody else is alive. Some are stinging very well, very well, stinging very well, and I uh, think they're doing good. So anyway, pleased with the results. Everybody in town is doing good, so we're going to go treat them, and I appreciate all you guys' support. Thanks a lot for following. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hey, this is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike. And I did some bees today. Didn't really go in them, but we did bees. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. And may God bless you. We'll see y'all later.